Forested geckos and leopard geckos live together. Now surprisingly, I get asked this quite a lot, but before we answer this question, let's compare some basic information about the two lizards. One, crested geckos thrive in temperatures of 70 to 75 degrees. Anything above 82 degrees for a while can cause stress, loss of appetite, and eventually can result in death. Leopard geckos thrive in temperatures of 87 to 90 degrees. Anything too low for too long will prevent their bodies from working correctly. 2. High humidity is important for crested geckos. In the evening time it should be around 90%, but the cage must fully dry out between misting and can be as low as 50 to 60% in the day. Leopard geckos, however, prefer a drier environment, living in areas of low humidity such as 40% or less. High humidity can make your gecko more likely to suffer from health problems such as respiratory infections. 3. Crested geckos are arboreal, or some may say semi-arboreal. They require a tall tank and plenty of branches and plants to climb and rest on. Leopard geckos do not require high enclosures and will be much happier with more floor space rather than height. 4. Though both geckos can technically eat live food, crested geckos require a more fruit-based diet. 5. Crested geckos' weight can vary from anywhere in the mid-20s all the way up to the mid-40s. However, this is no match compared to leopard geckos, whose adult weight can range from late 40s to mid-90s, and in some cases, over 100 grams. 6. Teamed with a stronger jaw and a heavier, tougher body, with the taste of not only insects, but in the wild, occasionally smaller vertebrates, leopard geckos may see crested geckos as prey. And let's face it, if they had the chance, they'd probably have a little nibble. Crested geckos generally have quite thin skin and a somewhat squishy body, which makes them very vulnerable to leopard geckos who can do this to each other and have been known to eat smaller lizards and pinkies. So if you haven't gathered already, no, under no circumstances should leopard geckos and crested geckos be housed together or even come into contact outside of their cages. It's extremely risky and I can only imagine will cause much stress to both geckos. Generally, I would say you shouldn't mix most reptiles, especially in small enclosures we house them in. If you had an enclosure the size of a room and you paired native species of lizards that weren't particularly aggressive, then that's a different matter. Though, as I said, it would require a lot of room, a lot of research, and an impeccable understanding of each animal involved. But I would not recommend this for a, just a general pet. If you want a range of geckos but can't afford all the setups at the moment, then please just wait, be patient and save up your money. Don't put them all in one tank and don't cut corners. I hope this video has helped and if you've ever been curious to know the differences between leopard geckos and African fat-tailed geckos, then click on this video or find the link in the description below. If you're not yet subscribed, how about giving that subscribe button a cheeky little click? I've realised that lately I've been uploading about five videos a week, so that's kind of crazy, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.